Okay, this is the second part of the video on foiling, and uh, if you watch the first part, you'll know that I messed up on my pinky finger because I got fluff on it uh, before I got uh, the foil on. So anyway, uh, I removed that, uh, put a coat of black on, um, and then uh, the Scrap Perfect Best Glue Ever uh, watered down um, that I showed in my last video. So I've let that dry and now I'm going to apply the foil like I showed you before. And again, I'm just going to smooth the foil on. And on my pinky, it's a little easier just because it's a lot smaller than the rest. And again, if you do it right, it just, um, the foil just easily applies. All right. So the next part of this is I have my, uh, the rest of my nails uh, prepped with uh, Manny Defender liquid latex from Lantern and Wren sent to me by, for review. Um, and I'm going to stamp using this image uh, from the Lena Totally Negative 01 plate, which was also sent to me um, for review by Lena Nail Art Supply. And um, I, I, I like this negative image and I especially like it for uh, gradients because then you can see the different colors showing through here um, and uh, uh, it just looks cool I think so uh, for my stamping I'm using black the El Corazon Kaleidoscope Black okay my creative shop stamper that I love and um, the clear jelly stamper big bling so this okay. and for negative images like this I like to make sure that there's plenty of polish to cover all those negative spots there okay pick up okay and stamp Okay, and smooth down the edges and remove the liquid latex. some floaties okay now what I do here is clean up the floaty bits still using my uh, fab your nails cleanup brush that I still really love and it's lasting and holding up to almost daily acetone use really well that's also available at Lantern and Wren, as well as Fab Your Nails. Um, Okay, so then we're going to talk about and I'm going to demonstrate the other part of um, working with foils, which is that um, when you use foils, uh, you have to use um, 
some type of barrier product before you uh, put top coat on it because regular top coat, quick dry top coat will wrinkle the foil and make it look terrible really. Um, so if you use gel, I've heard that gel is just really great for, for using over foil because it doesn't wrinkle it at all and gives a perfect um, finish. But for those of us who don't use gel, we've, we've had to find other things that we can use. Um, and, and the things you can use are you can use a coat or two of glue itself, either the nail foil glue or, you know, Elmer's school glue. I mean, any clear foil will work to protect uh, or any clear glue will work to protect the foil. And then after that's dried thoroughly, you can um, top coat. Uh, you can also use a water-based top coat or base coat. And I have two. Um, this one is one that I got from eBay years ago that's no longer available, unfortunately. But this is a really, really good water-based top coat. The only problem I have with it is that once it dries, it dries into this um, clear film that can't be removed uh, using acetone. It almost peels off. Like you have to get the acetone underneath the, the layers to the polish itself and melt that off. But the but this itself comes off almost as one piece. So it's sort of a pain to remove. Um, and then the other one is the Unt um, peel off uh, base coat, which functions the same way um, if you use it as a top coat. And this one has sort of a similar effect to the other one in terms of removal, but this one isn't quite as hard to remove as the other one is. Um, and this one, since it's um, easier to get, uh, I'm getting, that's the one I'm going to demonstrate for you today since that's um, still easy to get. And you just apply it as usual, you know, you just... Apply this right over the top of the foil and the stamping. And then you let this dry thoroughly, and then you can put fast dry top coat on it, and it won't wrinkle. Now, some people recommend putting it on top of the foil before for you um, stamp and that's another way you could do it you could after you applied the foil you could put the uh, put the water-based top coat on it and then stamp after and then put the quick dry top coat on um, after that uh, to me um, I haven't I, I don't think that there's any particular reason to do that the stamping itself doesn't seem to wrinkle um, these metallic foils uh, and uh, for me, because this, the, the water-based top coat doesn't smear the stamping, um, I, I actually like to use that if I'm going to be using it anyway. I like to use it over the stamping and then the, the quick dry top coat because then you're, you're much less likely to get smearing of the stamping itself. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching and, uh... Hope you learned any, something from this, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will answer. Thanks for watching.